a, a documentary called Squaring the Circle, the story of hypnosis. And it is pronounced, even though in, in the, the film it's hip G N O S I S, it's actually pronounced hypnosis. It is the story of a famous uh, group of uh, artists who did some of the mo most iconic album art that has ever existed. It's a, it, this documentary follows all of the creators behind the scenes who, who created this company. Um, uh, Storm Thorgerson and Aubrey Poe Powell are among the, the artists who during the early 1970s created these album covers that are insane. Everything from Pink Floyd with that famous prism and the rainbow. The weird thing about that, what you learn is you learn the stories behind the album art. This is before Photoshop existed. This is before computers. They staged these crazy photographs that are insane. Uh, for example, um, you know, the, the, the Pink Floyd with, with the prism, Dark Side of the Moon, it drove people crazy because it didn't say what the name of the band was or the name of the album. So they, it's just the first time they wrapped the album in plastic and put a sticker that said, you know, Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. But they created these iconic, iconic album art covers and the stories behind it are just insane. They interview uh, Paul McCartney for this documentary. They interview a bunch of the artists from the time. It's incredible. A lot of Led Zeppelin covers and Led Zeppelin covers are infamous for just being, I mean, look, I grew up at a time where, yes, I had albums. This was in the 70s and 80s. I had albums. I remember you would buy an album and especially it was great when they had like a fold where you could open it. You would, you would listen to the album and just look at the album art and your imagination would fly. So the stories behind these album covers is crazy. Um, there is a um, a famous Led Zeppelin cover. I think it's uh, Houses of the Holy, where you see this image. You know which one? There are a bunch of, from the back, you see these uh, uh, unclothed children that are amongst this formation of rocks. And there are a bunch of them. They all look alike. They had to stage that. And because the rocks were in such a formation that they were close together without Photoshop, they actually physically had to cut the photo and marry the different images together. And the guy who did it says, yeah, it took me about 30 minutes. So there's another famous album art. It's a Pink Floyd album where they have this like giant inflatable pig that's over like a plant. They, had to actually make it. They've got an inflatable pig. They floated it in the air and they tell the whole story of how the pig, like this inflatable pig, like, like, like it was in the air for a very short time. They got as many photos as they could. And then it actually like flew up into the air where it exploded and it landed on a farmer's, a farmer's, um, land. He said, Hey, is this your inflatable pig? I found it because it made the national news. It was crazy. So I, was blown away by this film. The, the 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 bands getting involved, they would send the music to these guys. They would listen to it. And, and like how the crazy early days of their company, they had like this small one room office that didn't have a bathroom. So they all urinated in the sink. It was very like punk rock, very like rock and roll, how these album covers were put together. Like they did things like, yeah, I need like a sheep a psychiatrist a uh, uh, couch and I need to fly that to Hawaii on a beach. Then they would just set up these crazy. So what's interesting is if you're familiar with these iconic albums, you'll see like all the photos from the photo shoot or there's the one album. God, what's I, I know I'm spacing on it where there's like these two businessmen and they're shaking hands and one is on fire. What is that album cover? Someone in the chat knows that. Anyways, uh, they show the video. They show v film that was shot during that during that that photo shoot. It was crazy. They only did a few takes of it. It was incredibly dangerous because the guy was lit on fire, but his face was exposed. So you see, like his business suit, and he's on fire. What is that album cover? Why am I spacing on it? Um, uh, yeah, but it hasn't but, come up in the chat yet. So oh, okay, but but well, I'll wish just wish you were here. Wish you were here. Wish you were here. Is the, but what was the band? Uh, uh, that, but it was like, but so so this 
this company, Hypnosis, which was this sort of ad agency, but they didn't ever like to be called that they were an ad agency. They were effectively like, um, they they were artists and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, like they bristled at the thought that we're not an ad agency. We do art, right? We do artwork. And it's a really incredible documentary. I don't know if we have a review on the Film Threat website yet, but we have to get this film reviewed. Uh, it's fantastic. So I really enjoyed it. Strong recommendation, especially if you know those bands. It's It was uh, just the experience. Of, and also they got like Led Zeppelin music in the movie, which is fantastic. So I, I just, I really, really love this doc. Uh, and the fact that they also got like so many people from, uh, you know, like they got Paul McCartney among others to talk uh, on the record, it was it was really good. So, strong recommendation. Check it out. Squaring the circle. The idea of squaring the circle, right? You put an album art is square, the record is circle. Get it? Squaring the circle. Uh, fantastic music documentary. Loved it. Mm -hmm.